This is Malta. This is the Sahara Desert. What do you think that they have in common? I'll get to that in just a second. According to research compiled by thousands of researchers, within the year 2050, the temperature of Europe will have increased by three and a half degrees. But what does this mean? Well, it means that from a climate perspective, every city will move approximately a thousand kilometers south. And if you're living in Stockholm, this might not be a very bad thing. You will be in the climate of today's Vienna. And if you're in London, even better, you will be in the climate of today's Barcelona. But what's 1,000 kilometers south of Malta? That's right. It's the Sahara Desert. By year 2050, Malta is projected to have the climate of the Sahara Desert. And that would obviously suck. But what else does this mean? If we look at a country like India, what would happen if India moved 1,000 kilometers south from a climate perspective? I'm not an expert in this, but I've done quite a bit of research, and to my best understanding, and I can be wrong, but it's quite likely that India will become a desert. And what happens if a country with one billion people suddenly don't have water? I used to think that the climate crisis was mainly a problem for polar bears and possibly cities very close to sea level. But it was first when I realized that climate crisis could lead to billions of people without water that it really started to scare me. What do you think happens if a country don't have water, but they have 130 nuclear missiles? India does. A thousand years ago, wars were fought for gold. About a hundred years ago, wars started to be about oil. What if World War III will be about water? Now, this is probably the most depressing beginning of a speech ever held here at Sigma, so from now on, I'm going to focus on hope. What can be done? Well, you heard these three things already. You can stop eating meat, you can stop flying, and you can stop buying unnecessary things. But if you're anything like me, you're not going to stop doing any of those things. So what else can be done? It turns out planting trees is one of the most efficient ways of dealing with the climate crisis. Because when a tree grows, it sucks carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, and it gives us back oxygen that we can breathe. But it needs to be done at a very large scale. Now, this is all a simplification. And the numbers can be argued, but I want to give you a ballpark. This is the size of USA and Canada. It's about 11% of the entire planet Earth land mass. And about 11% of our land is not being used at the moment. It's not suitable to grow crops, but it could be suitable to plant trees. And on an area this large, we could plant 1,200 billion trees. How much does it cost to plant a tree? The cheapest and most efficient organizations claim to do it for 30 cents per tree. 1,200 billion times 30 cents equals $360 billion. So how much is $360 billion? Well, let's put this number into perspective. How much money 
do you think the gambling industry generates in revenues every year? In 2018, $449.3 billion. That's more than 360, meaning that we, the people in this room, and our colleagues around the world could solve this. This is our why. This is why great.com exists. We want to move money from the gambling industry to stop global warming. So who am I? My name is Eric Bergman, and I'm one of the two founders of Katina Media. And I made over 50 million euros from Katina, so I don't need any more money. But what I do need is what every person in this room needs, what you need. I need a purpose. Great.com is my lifelong purpose. So what is great.com? Well, we're going to be a casino affiliate that will donate all of our profits to help the planet. And we are just getting started, and we have already made donations of over 100,000 euros. So what is it that will make us different? If I say, you know that affiliate who is honest and objective and who does thorough testing and then ranks the casinos accordingly, who are you thinking about them? There is no one, right? Shouldn't there be one? I've built a lot of affiliate sites in my career, and none of them have been honest and objective. None of them have done thorough testing. Instead, I put the ones on top who paid me the most. And I took that money and I invested it in SEO and links. Great.com is different. Great.com will be the affiliate you think about when you hear the words honest and objective. And I would love to stand up here for another hour and tell you about the things we are doing differently. How we are using podcasts, public charity donations, transparent salary structures, and rapid growth on Instagram to get links, top recruitments, and increased traffic. Unfortunately, there isn't time for that. So instead, I'll just tell you about the product that we're building. And we started with this question. What is the most important information to a casino player? We came up with a lot of answers, and these are three of them. How good is the customer support? How generous are the bonuses if you're actually doing the math? And how fast do they process deposits and withdrawals? Have you ever seen anyone who've done a deep analysis of this? Someone who've actually tested? Once again, I've never done this. Instead, I put the money into SEO and links instead of building a high-quality product. Great.com is different. So how are we testing customer support? Well, it needs to be done very objectively, so we do the same thing with all casinos. And we start by just checking the websites for support options and opening hours. This is pretty standard and something that everyone can do. Then we email every casino with the five same simple questions. And then we see how quickly they reply and how accurately they reply. We do the same thing for live chat and for the phone. And then we repeat this process at several different occasions, at different days of the week and different times of the day. Then we compile the results, give each casino an average score, and we compare them to each other, and we will know who is actually the best customer support in the industry. And then we do the same thing for withdrawal times, for bonuses, for lots of other things. So why is no one else doing this? Well, for starters, it takes a lot of time. It costs a lot of money, and if you're going to put the one who is best on top, you can't put the one who pays you the most. 
So we will probably be losing money doing this, at least early on. But in the long term, we will be honest and objective. And great.com is different. I will soon wrap this up. But first, I'd like to read you a quote. The greatest threat to our planet is the belief that someone else will fix it. Please, let that one sink in for just a second. The greatest threat to our planet is the belief that someone else will save it. Are you happy being a person who is just believing that someone else will save your planet? Or would you like to be a person who takes responsibility and who does something about this? Would you like to be a person who can tell your grandkids what you did to save their planet? when they ask you, what did you do when they started talking about climate crisis? I need your help. Our planet needs your help. And I wish I had more time up here to tell you how you could help me. But instead, I would like to ask you to pick up your phone, and before you leave this room, send me an email. Just send it with hi to eric at great.com. And together we can talk about how we can collaborate, what we can do together, and how we can save our planet. Thank you very much for listening to me. It's been an honor to be up here on this stage. Thank mm -hmm. you.